Mm -hmm. I'm Melanie Franklin, and I'm a sanctuary, longtime sanctuary steward with Save Our Shores. I've been a part of uh, Save Our Shores since about 2012. I was walking beaches a lot and spending a lot of time at the beach and started realizing as I looked around, wow, look, here's some trash, and I'd pick it up. Then I'd see more and pick it up. And before I knew it, I was just picking up bags of trash and realized maybe there's, maybe there's a way I can band together with other people. So I went online and I started doing some research and I found the website for Save Our Shores. And their big emphasis that really drew me in is how to be a part of the solution. Instead of seeing the problem, how, do you, how are you part of that? And so I came and they had uh, sanctuary steward classes. Um, there's a nice crash course now that happens with Save Our Shores and they educated me. And I think more than anything, that's what drew me to Save Our Shores was they didn't just say, let's sign you up, let's get you out, let's get you picking up trash. What they said is, let's teach you a little bit about that. So let's learn about what's happening in the marine environment to the animals. Let's learn about what's happening with plastic. Let's learn about what can be done to take care of that. And I love learning. I'm a person who wants to know more about things. And so it was a real challenge. There's like a personal challenge that took place for me. Um, and I started to really realize the amount of plastics was overwhelming. My name is Ryan Calabas, and I'm the uh, communication specialist at Save Our Shores. And what I do is I promote all of our programs and messages and advocacy work that we do along the Central Coast for keeping our marine life and our marine environment clean, healthy, and productive. I enjoy this work because I know that I'm making a, an impact and it's something I can see every day. When I see sanctuary stewards and volunteers coming back with bags of trash that they've picked up over a couple hours at, a, at an event, it's good to see where our resources are going and our efforts are going into actually making a difference. We're not just about picking up trash. Sometimes it's easy to think of that because a lot of what we talk about as far as uh, community involvement are trash pickups and they're very rewarding. There's also so many other things you can do. There's educational programs you can support. Uh, there's events, uh, things like Earth Day, you can go and you can be a big part of. It's not just Save Our Shores, it's really more of a, um, it's a mindset, it's a, it's a lifestyle, it's a way of viewing the world and a, a way of, of living in the world, really. So you can volunteer, of course. Um, you can volunteer for our Sanctuary Steward program, a dock walker program that, uh, that promotes clean boating practices, clean, clean green boating practices. Uh, you can also donate, obviously. <laughs> um, but you can change the way you purchase, really. So you can be more reusable. Stop buying single-use plastics and single-use products. You can um, remind people when you're at the beach and you see them leaving their, their party or their, their stuff where they were at to, to, to pick up after themselves or as you see something along the way you can pick it up. If you'd like to get involved with Save Our Shores it's really easy. It's one of the easiest things to do. You just go on our website at saveourshores.org and you follow the link through when it says get involved and you sign up to become a sanctuary steward. Save Our Shores and doing the work that I do really has changed my life for the better and really in a positive way because it's, there's nothing more exciting and rewarding than getting involved with people who are like-minded and are making a change in the world. And I love it because uh, some of my family said to me the other day, thank you so much for making a difference in the world. And when you leave it, we know that you've contributed in a way that will last for our children. Mm -hmm.